Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girlfriend, Natcha Chick, and I'm on here with the video for you guys because I'm so excited that it's my three years post anniversary. Um, it was actually yesterday, but hey, it's still the weekend, so I'm still, you know, happy and pumped about it. Um, it's just amazing to to think that so many years, you know, I had process here and to three years, you know, to have stopped putting um, chemicals in my hair altogether. I haven't put any color or a relaxer or anything in my hair for three years now as of yesterday. So that is just like amazing to me. Um, I, could, I At some point it felt like I couldn't even get past like six to eight weeks without um, getting a touch up so to go like three years without getting one that's that's a big accomplishment um, so for anyone who has watched my journey I transitioned for 20 months so today actually is another um, anniversary for me which makes me um, 16 months fully uh, relaxed so um, I transitioned for 20 months and um, I clipped the rest of the processed ends off um, about a year and a half ago um, today actually. So um, another big accomplishment as well. And yesterday, um, three years ago was the day that I just was like, I had enough. I'm not, that was my last relaxer. I said, I can't do it no more. I had so much, um, damage and my hair wasn't growing and um, I decided that I didn't want a big chop but I did you know want to be natural without cutting all my hair off so that's when I decided to transition and gradually just clip my ends um do I regret my decision absolutely not best decision hair wise that I believe that I've made in a long time I definitely made some mistakes throughout my journey just you know it's like I didn't was trying to hold on you know to my hair didn't want to clip my ends um so I definitely would say if I was to do it over I would still transition but I would I learned a lot from it and to know how to protect my hair and um, what the do's and don'ts of what to do um, I'm so happy at um where I'm at right now um I just learned to just focus on my own hair and not to compare my hair to others because I look at my hair at the stages of what it is being about a year and a half all natural and I look at other people and I'm like well they got way more hair than me and I want my hair like hers and then I look at other people and you know they've been um, natural longer than me and their hair shorter than mine's or so I just learned just not to compare my hair to others, just be happy, embrace what I have. And um, as long as I am doing good to my hair and my body, then I should be good. You know, everything else will kind of fall in place. Um, I did a lot of um, protective styling um, throughout my transition. If you want to see that, I have some videos that you may want to um, take a look at, at some of the styles that I did. But my signature style was a braid out is which I so happen to have today. Um, I wanted and wanted to go ahead and do the, my old style, which was a braid out, because I actually haven't done a braid out since I've been fully natural. I think I did one like one time, but all throughout like most of my transition, that's all I did was braid outs. But then you know I just kind of got hooked on a little the twist out game, so I've been doing basically all twist outs. So. I said, you know, let me just do my old staple style that I used to do, which was my braid out. And I love my results, guys. This is real. Of course, it's, you know, poofy and frizzy by now. By the time I got outside, that's basically what would happen. But, you know, it, that's that's the joy of natural hair. You know, it it's, it's just going to do what it wants to do and you just have to embrace it. And I've learned to do that. I used to hate frizz. And I wanted to just look just right, but I actually love the phrase. I got a lot of compliments on my hair today. So, you know, just embrace your hair. Love it. You know, you can't have someone else's hair. You know, you may have a similar grade of hair, but it's never going to be someone else's. So just love yourself. Love your hair. 
Um, let me think what else. I do want to get a blowout for um, just to see where I'm at, where my length is at. I, I haven't had my hair straightened since I've been um, natural, not all natural. I've had it straightened while, during my transition about um, a year ago, probably about a year and a half ago, but I haven't had it straightened yet. So I definitely want to get that done um, soon. Uh, maybe in about a um, couple of months for the fact that it's really hot and I just think getting a blowout just would not last long and it's humid weather so I just want to wait till maybe it's a little more cooler outside but I'm so excited for that and I definitely will be um, letting you know um, you know coming back showing you my results um, so let me get into as far as the sprayed out is concerned now I did the sprayed out I did them a little too small because I'm used to doing my twist I got used to doing my twist out small so I just did my braids the thing about when you do braids or any type of style when on wet hair or damp hair your hair is more expanded it expands when it's wet so by the time my hair was dry the braids were like really small and kind of tight so it was that's why it came out a lot frizzier and plus being outside contributed to that too but it, it's cool it's all good I love it but let me tell you what I did use um, a new product that I tried which is from a lot of body I just put it in another water bottle um, that's why it's all out I did not use a whole bottle guys but this is a lot of body kind of back in the day old school but they kind of switched some things up with it added some good ingredients um, it has with coconut and shea oils, style me, texturize, and set in lotion. Good for relaxed and natural hair. Creates superior hold, adds brilliant shine and great body. And I must say, yes, it does. Um, so yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, guys, super excited um, about this that I made it um, all this this way a big accomplishment and if you're thinking about doing it um, go for it I say go for it you know no pressure to to anyone don't let anyone tell you you know you can't do it no just chop big chop just chop your hair off because that's not for everyone guys I'm team transition all the way um, but that's just me um, I am interested in maybe I do you know, have some goals with my hair, um, armpit length, which I believe I'm almost at. I'm not sure, just from when I do the little pull um, method, but I haven't had any tension to it where it's been completely straight. So once I know that for sure, but I would like to be um, definitely reach bra strap length is basically uh, my goal, and that's for when it's straight. Um, so. You know, I know it's, I'm not going to be obsessed about it. I decided not to be obsessed with it. Um, but it's just one of my goals. I just want to get a good regimen, take care of my hair, keep it moisturized, trimmed, and um, and I should be good to go. And same with anyone else, you know, as long as you're treating your good. And it's about too, I feel like, when you put what you put in your body as well. Um, but I believe that's it guys that's all I want to share with you guys three years three years ago I said no more creamy crack I'm done um, I should try to post a picture of like my last relaxer and I was just done and over with it but um, yeah guys that's it this is this is this is it I'm so looking forward to many many more years of this journey and growth and beautiful healthy natural hair and thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye